The Banking Cloud provides a seamless integration between banks and Sage 100 contractor, saving you time when it's time to reconcile to the bank. Bank Feeds is available for version 21.1 and later. Bank Feeds gives you the ability to download actual bank transactions and compare them to Sage 100 contractor transactions. This not only simplifies the bank reconciliation process, but also ensures your accounts are up to date and accurate. To get started with Bank Feeds, select General Ledger and Bank Reconciliation. To begin, enter the Ledger account to which you would like to connect to use Bank Feeds. In the Bank Reconciliation window, select Bank Feeds. When you set up Bank Feeds for your account the first time, the only option is to connect to Bank Feeds. The other options become available after you connect to your bank. Select Connect to Bank Feeds. Enter your email address. Confirm the email address. You must read and agree to the terms and conditions before you continue. After you review, select the Terms and Conditions checkbox. Then click Get Started. To complete the security check, select I'm not a robot and complete the task. Then click Verify. The task can differ for each security check. After the security check is complete, click OK. The software begins to load the information to create your bank feeds account. Current banks the software integrates with displays icons here. If you do not see your bank, use the link to search for the bank. If you are still unable to find your bank, the program may not integrate with your banking institution. For this lesson, we will use the Sage Demo Bank. Scroll down. You can use the Sage Demo Bank through the sample company to try out Sage Bank Feeds. Do not use the Demo Bank with your active company information. Once you've selected the bank, click Next. Click Sign In. When you use the Demo Bank, there is a prompt with a reminder that the sample transactions will load. Only use the Sage Demo Bank with the sample company. If you connect to your bank, you do not receive this message. Click Continue. This reminder screen is because we are using the Demo Bank. To proceed with the Demo Bank, select Demo Bank. Click OK. After you successfully sign in, you see the account type. Select the start date in which you want to start to use Sage Bank Feeds to reconcile your account. When you verify the account type and select your start date, click Process. Click Finish. A prompt displays which indicates the account is being set up. Click OK. When you are ready to reconcile, click Display Items. Another prompt displays to let you know how many transactions have been loaded. Click OK. The Match Banking Transactions opens to match bank transactions to entries in your software. Let's discuss the Match Banking Transactions window. Transactions in the bottom of the window are possible matches that the software has identified. The transactions in the top portion of the window are transactions not automatically matched. The top left are the transactions from your bank that are not matched. The transactions in the software appear in the top right. There are some rules around how to match transactions that don't automatically match. When you select the transaction in the bank list and a transaction in the Sage list, the amounts must match. With the transactions currently selected, the Match option is not available because there is an amount in the match difference. To match transactions, the amounts must have a matching difference of zero. We will see this in just a moment. Let's take a look at how to unmatch an item that is a possible match. Select the item in the bottom left, then click Unmatch. The transaction is now back in the bank transactions as well as in Sage. When you unmatch transactions, the only transactions that show under Sage is the transaction you unmatched. To view all possible matches, click Show All, and all transactions appear. Select the appropriate match for the bank transaction that is selected. You see, there is no match difference now, and the Match option is available. Select Match to match these transactions, and they now display in the bottom portion of the window. We've covered how to match and unmatch transactions. Now let's discuss the options to add and remove transactions. 
You may have transactions that display for the bank but not in the software. Within the match window, you can add these transactions on the fly to make the data entry process quicker and smoother. To add a transaction to the software here, click the transaction in the bank list that you want to add. Then click Add to Sage. The Post Bank Transactions to Sage window opens. The window populates with most of the information from the bank details. The only required fields to enter are the offset account and subaccount if applicable. You can enter the offset account or select it from a list. We'll select the account from the list. Now that the information is complete, click Post. Scroll down in the list, and the transaction we just added is part of the possible match list. You may see transactions in the bank list that should not be in Sage. Rather than ignore the transaction every time, you can remove the item so that it no longer shows as a mismatch. When you remove a transaction, it does not remove it from your bank, only the software transaction bank list. To remove an item from the transaction bank list, select the transaction, then click Remove. A confirmation message displays. Click Yes, and the transaction is now removed from the bank list within the software. After you have confirmed all matches in the bank and the software, click Confirm Matches. Click OK. The matching window closes and you return to the bank reconciliation in the software. Notice the double check marks in the status column. The double check marks indicates the items were confirmed through bank feeds. If you clear transactions directly in bank reconciliation, they appear with the single check mark in the status column. Let's take a look at the entry we added through bank feeds. Trial Save the Bank Reconciliation. Close the Bank Reconciliation. Open Journal Transactions. Select the option to display last record. And the transaction we added through bank feeds is in the Journal Transactions window. Let's return to the Bank Reconciliation to cover a few quick tips when you use bank feeds. After you click Display Items, if there are new transactions to match, you are immediately taken to the Match Transaction window. If there are no new transactions, you receive this message. After you click OK, you are still in the Bank Reconciliation window. However, you can select Bank Feed and Match Banking Transactions to open the Transaction Matching window manually. Notice the Connect to Bank Feeds is not available. This is because there is no need to disconnect and reconnect each time you reconcile. After you make the initial connection to the bank, you can select to match banking transactions at any time to open the Match Transaction window. If you decide to discontinue use of bank feeds, select Disconnect from Bank Feeds. You should now be able to use bank feeds. Sage offers several ways for you to interact and get the answers you need quickly. Get help from others with similar questions in a Sage City community. Find answers in our knowledge base or take an online course on Sage University.